Hey everyone and welcome to Scuba Travel and Adventure. My name is Thomas. This video is gonna be a trip uh, through British Columbia from Calgary, Alberta. We're gonna head out to uh, Jasper uh, National Park first and that's where through glacier uh, ice fields and we will stay just uh, outside of Jasper. After that uh, there's no major planning as the trip was supposed to be totally different. Uh, original uh, trip was planned to be uh, for California and then uh, COVID uh, hit the world and we had to abort that and after that uh, we were hoping to go to north towards Yukon which uh, also not possible because uh, Yukon does not allow any other people from different provinces and, uh, because of their COVID uh, numbers are non-existent pretty much we're gonna plan as we go so uh, all we know for now we're gonna cruise uh, through British Columbia and that is n the northern British Columbia and then we're gonna go to Vancouver and uh, through Whistler and after that we're gonna hit the Okanagan the all the uh, all the growing um, operations from of peaches and uh, cherries and apples beautiful rivers and of course the spectacular mountain sceneries uh, like here. After that uh, we're gonna head out to uh, Kootenays. And um, so I'm gonna break that video in probably a couple different episodes because it's gonna be too much uh, to do it as a one video. And uh, I invite you to join me on this trip. And if you like the content, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell to stay updated when I release the new content. You can always comment below and ask questions. Uh, they're always appreciated and uh, I'll try to answer all of them. Uh, join me on this uh, beautiful trip. I wasn't able to postpone the whole trip uh, towards the later dates as uh, my employer kind of told me to that I have to take the holidays and uh, so this is the time so this is the time I gotta make the best out of it so I will be meeting a couple guys here um, in about an hour on Trans Canada Highway uh, we should be meeting there at uh, 7 o'clock and right now it's uh, 10 after 6 so I will be meeting one of my buddies uh, just uh, in a couple of minutes here uh, on the side of the road and uh, the other two guys, uh, Robert and Bogdan uh, Bogdan is kind of a new guy that never went with us before but uh, Robert and Mariusz, uh, both of those guys are uh, they're always participating in our trips so let's uh, let's jump into this video and let's see what kind of what we're gonna encounter on this trip I'm uh, pretty curious myself how is this all gonna work out we have a rough plan but uh, nothing is really set in stone we have to play uh, just by the day and hour pretty much uh, study the maps and uh, because there's also a few floods uh, happening in British Columbia in the Kootenay area all right so we have joined together at the gas station uh, on Trans Canada Highway and uh, now we are approaching uh, our Rocky Mountain so we're heading now for coffee most likely to Lake Louise uh, Banff National Park and from after the coffee we're gonna head out to Jasper Alberta that's a pretty gorgeous area to drive through here every time I'm going through here it looks beautiful and uh, just outside of this uh, little valley uh, there's a first town it's uh, Kenmore Alberta and then after that shortly after there is an entrance to uh, Banff National Park Just on the other side of this town, we will be getting close to the Banff National Park entrance. I'm still waiting for my wife to send me the park pass as I have purchased one uh, for the entire season. I don't want to buy another one. So we're approaching uh, the town of Banff in Banff National Park. Uh, 
if you haven't uh, been in this area or in this town and uh, all the surrounded place surrounding places I really recommend visiting this uh, jam in Canadian Rockies and right uh, right here the next exit that we have it's leading to Lake Minnewanka it's a beautiful lake in the mountains and uh, that's uh, where we go scuba diving quite often uh, it's one of the most popular sp uh, places for local divers in Calgary to get the glimpse of uh, scuba diving in this area it's uh, it's not far it's about an uh, hour and a half uh, maybe hour and 40 minutes uh, from Calgary uh, this little town here it's uh, it's a magnet from for people from all around the world uh, it's very famous uh, for for its skiing resorts uh, in the area near, nearby we have a Lake Louise ski resort and um, right here in, uh, in Banff uh, we have Mount Northway uh, and a couple other smaller hills and of course the famous uh, hot springs in Banff that uh, draws visitors also from all around the world. All right, so we made it to the first pit stop. That's our first stop in Lake Louise, having a first coffee. There we go, uh, we had a nice pit stop at Lake Louise ski area, or Lake Louise village I should say. And now we are heading to Jasper. And uh, the I Columbia Ice Field. It looks like from Lake Louise to Jasper, we have uh, 230 kilometers. And there is a sign, Ice Field Center. Entering uh, another national park. The wife sent me a park pass, so now I'm safe. So it's June and it actually starts to snow again. It's unbelievable. The views are here spectacular. Seems like a fresh snow on the ground mixed with the old stuff. We're hoping that's not gonna turn into a snowstorm. So one of our buddies had to stay in Lake Louise to get a conference call from work and uh, we decided uh, that we will meet up together in uh, Jasper once we get there so we have uh, about 171 well not about we have 171 kilometers to Jasper Alberta and uh, we should be getting pretty close to the ice fields three years ago in August and uh, we had uh, actually heavy snow falling it didn't stay on the ground but it was uh, it was boring it was uh, coming pretty good very nice area to spot the wildlife. Uh, you can spot here moose, uh, ram, mountain goats, bear, deer, elk, pretty much most.
most of the wild animals you can explore in this area. It's a beautiful. Bogdan, where are we? No. No problem, to ci powiem, powtórzę. Na not Saskatchewan River. Shit. On the way to just. Awesome. Awesome. The view is very nice. Chili sign? A bit? <laughs> You're being generous. <laughs> I'm being very generous always. I'm surprised that they actually have it closed, eh? Big trucks. Yeah. 
So there's a change of plan. We're heading to Pyramid Lake now. Plan on a go. Twisties. Vroom, vroom, vroom. No. <laughs> Man, you, you were just yawning like a second ago. Don't do that because I'm gonna do that. And the water is gonna be probably about five degrees. Oh, there they are. Spectacular as it should be. Pyramid Lake, Pyramid. Patricia. <laughs> Patricia sounds good too. Boguś nagrywa, komentuje, ja jego nagrywam, no mnie nagrywa. Kuźba, kamer mamy 15. Tomek też przed chwilą nagrywał. Nagrywał, nie? Tomek, wskakuj, zobaczymy, czy to jest waterproof. Co? To jest twój kombinezon. kombinezon. It is. No to skakuj, zobaczymy czy będziesz tu. Nie A ty też? No co? No? Opas. <laughs> Mariusz, a ty masz kombinezon water, ten wodoszczelny? When I washed it after the last trip, it didn't soak through. Co? Oh yeah. And I hose it, like with a hose outside. Oh. Bo jechaliśmy do Torpino w tamtym roku, w tamtym roku czy dwa razy temu. Yeah, I went for a dip. Wtedy się takie wody. Taką pogodę. W zonie? No, no, my catch. Słuchaj, catch only in to Ludzie, ludzie sobie, kurde, wiesz... Ludzie w Wetsu, co ja kurczę. No? Ja. Tam w Wetsu to może był jakiś jeden tam na jakiś poszedł, kurde. Wszyscy chodzili sobie po plaży, kurczę, a ty to musisz, kurde, wiesz co... Tak, ale on jest Do. z klubu Morsa, okay? Tak. No to wiesz. Rozebrał się, kurde, takie, wiesz, do, do bokserków. No, exactly, do bokserka. Tak? Didn't take much for me. I said, I'm on the other side of the Canada, and the Pacific Ocean. Let's taste it. No, rozwijamy się tutaj. Tutaj cię wyrzucą. Mika, nabiłeś na to przez. Yeah, it's a <laughs> nice hand there, man. <laughs> so we have a right for a spot for a night. This is gonna be our home for tonight. The boys are getting setting up. Nie, to, to było ten, cenzura. Zobaczcie, możemy tak, pojechać tutaj. Jak chcesz, to możemy przynieść tam następną łapkę i postawić ją tu. Albo tam. The sheep, no, ale zrobimy tak. No. No. Zobacz, nie ma w ogóle żadnego Wi-Fi. Nie patrzyłem. First night out in the bush. We actually managed to find a campsite, campsite which is kind of successful. Tak trochę, trochę. Ja nabieram nowego tego. The meaning of trochę. Masz bardzo specyficzny. Trochę. To jest nasz sleeping champion. Right there. Kurwa. He's the number one. He can talk and snore at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> 